Welcome back to the Phantom Gourmet. I know we usually talk about restaurants here on the show, but right now I'd like to take a look at the forecast, the four day food forecast. Here we have it. As you can see, the menu for the next few days looks absolutely delicious. And according to WBZ meteorologist Melissa Mack, the weekend is all about brunch. <laughs> Prepare yourself for a Mac attack. Hi. We are going to show you that I'm walking. I'm hungry. I can walk. I'm WBZ AccuWeather meteorologist Melissa Mack. She helps get you going every morning. Temperatures today going from the middle to upper 40s. Melissa Mack is the morning meteorologist for WBZ TV. Along with news anchors David Wade and Paula Eben, Melissa is on air starting at 4.30 a.m., which means she sets her alarm very early. I get up at 1.45 a.m. And being such an early riser makes breakfast a big deal from French toast and pancakes to bacon and eggs. People are just buying it left That's and right. right. It's it. off the shelves. I'm telling you. And when she's not in the weather center analyzing the latest charts and computer models, you might find this Ohio native running the marathon, riding a dirt bike or grilling up some ribs. I can't help but lick my fingers. Is that bad? In fact, at the Phantom Gourmet Barbecue Beach Party, Melissa took home first prize in the 2010 Celebrity Cook-Off, proving that when it comes to great food, no matter what the meal, you can't stop the Mac attack. And joining us now here at the VIP table is Melissa Mack from WBZ News. What's going on, Melissa? Oh, I'm ready to eat. Look at all this food in front of me. I know. You are a bit food obsessed. You know, we always pass each other yes. in the hallways. You want to talk about the latest bakeries, the latest yes. restaurants. Today, we're going to talk about breakfast and brunch. Because, listen, I know you're up early every day. You're doing the weather. Very on early. The, now, yeah, how early are you up, exactly? I'm talking the, uh, well, I don't want to say, butt crack of dawn. <laughs> Okay, is, that, is that a good way of putting it? Yeah, that's the okay, perfect way to there say you go. it. They don't get away with that on the news. Right here in Phantom Gourmet, you can say butt oh, crack as wow. much as you, you want. Know, hey, whatever. It so, is what it is. Uh, <laughs> so you're up early. So yes. breakfast and brunch, I assume, have to be very important in, in your life, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, so how many days a week do you think you get to even get the chance to go out to these restaurants? Can't be all that often, right? No, and brunch <laughs> is really good for a Sunday for me specifically. Right. I usually, you know, if you're going out a little bit on the weekends, and I can't go out late Sundays, obviously, for dinner. So I'm like, hey, let's go out on a Sunday. Right. So it's a great time to go out for example um i need to eat right now okay yeah you can have a deep fried that's a deep fried pickle from the roundabout mm. diner in portsmouth you want to give an on the spot review of how that is right now oh, that's perfect <laughs> all right so let's talk about some of your favorite brunch places you as you I choke down the pickle yes <laughs> so let's go to let's go, go to the first place henrietta's table in mm -hmm. cambridge at the charles hotel this is one of the best brunches there is in new england tell me about it I just love the variety, number one. As you know, right. I love food. So I like the omelet station. I love also how they use local farms for mm -hmm. vendors and things of that sort. So everything's good, a lot of natural things. I also like to eat healthy. So in the omelet station, I may add a little cheese here and there, but then I can use egg whites. Right. So if, and of course, you need the pastries, and you have the mimosas, and you yes. have what you need. Again, health food, the pastries, the mimosas. I understand you're oh. constantly eating healthy, Melissa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. All right, now let's go for a completely different type of brunch or breakfast, breakfast experience. In the States here, we have pancakes. In France, they eat crepes. And you like a place oh. called Mr. Crepe in Somerville, right? I love Davis Square, number one. Sure. Just such variety of places to go. Really quaint places, a lot of good music and live music and things of that. And one day I'm walking around, I said, I want dessert. And I thought, oh, let's go over here. It's Mr. Crepe. Yep. Oh, my goodness gracious. I had the chocolate with the strawberry and of course a la mode. You gotta have the ice cream. It was delish. Yeah. Now I know you are a bit obsessed with chocolate and no big surprise. I mean I know you it's have my best friend. You love bakeries, you love cupcakes. I know you said your mom was a great baker, best, all that best, best, best ever. Yeah. Lobster tail pastry. Oh. Not being from New England, sure. I mean, I am obsessed. I have to get one at least once a month. Okay. At least. <laughs> lot of, of course, modern pastry, Mike's pastry. Modern, I love breakfast. you. All right, speaking of pastry and chocolate specifically, at the Langham Hotel in Boston, this they have something called the Chocolate Bar Buffet. They do it on Saturdays, and it is literally all-you-can-eat chocolate. Now, is that like your ultimate fantasy? Oh, my gosh, absolutely. If you ever take me on a date, whoever you are, <laughs> take me there. <laughs> I'll at least love you for that. I'll never forget you because of that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you load up, and it, it literally is a buffet, the same way you would go to a brunch buffet, yeah. but it's all chocolate. Absolutely. So, you know, afterwards, we should take a jog along the Charles. Okay, Perfect. so we'll, why don't we actually, why don't we jog to the South End, or perhaps jog yes. to Woburn, because Let's one of go. your favorite restaurants is called Masa, mm -hmm. Southwestern Spot, and they actually do a cool brunch as well. Love the Texas toast, stuff with the bananas, yum, yum, yum. But, yes. of course, when you talk about tapas, I love coconut shrimp. Mm. 
That sounds delicious as yeah, well. That, so. That'd be a nice brunch for me. Have some Texas toast and then some coconut trip. Well, she is, of course, Melissa Mack. You can watch her on WBZ. Thanks for coming in, Melissa. Thank you. All right, check her out. Mornings on WBZ News.